Hello everyone and welcome. I am excited in this video to talk about a new product that we have at Trade Ideas to walk you guys how to get set up and rolling with our new web or app version of Trade Ideas. It's very exciting. I'm going to show you on the computer. There'll also be videos for iPhone, iPad, as this will run on anything with a web browser. So without further ado, we're going to pop right in here and get into our new web page. So when you come to this web page, you'll basically be presented with a few bits of information right off the bat. We have popular stocks. These are just stocks doing amazing volume, um, normal, the big guys that you think of, the Microsofts, the Googles, the S&P 500, all of this. Some big gainers today. You can see this just moved as it's updating in real time with what's going on. And then also some unusual volume names, things that are doing incredible volume today, just to show you what's going on. And then we also have this little search box right here. So if you click on this, you have access now to all of these different kind of pre-built scans and layouts that will kind of show you different things that are going on in the market. You can also just search up here. So if I want to know what's happening with Apple, I can just type Apple, hit enter, and it brings up this screen right here. So note, I am not signed in now and I do not have an account. So right off the bat, you can notice that some of the information is blurred and some of it is delayed data. Now this is because we have to delay the data based off of the exchange requirements, but there's an easy way to get full access and at least unblur all of the data. And that's just by setting up an account with us, which you can do completely for free. Uh, you can do that by actually just going into the little guy right here. You can actually just click this button right here that says create a new account. You can, either of those will take you to a new account. So I'm going to actually click on this little guy and I'm going to sign in because I, of course, already have an account. So we are now live. My status is showing that I can go live. I can turn my data live and we'll get to that when we get to the settings part of this video. So we are here on one of the main screens because I wanted to look at Apple. So that's exactly what it's showing me right now. So this box here on the left, this is your data window. This shows you kind of everything that you need to know about the company from a fundamental or, or technical uh, landscape when it comes to different data points. So we have the market cap, we have the short float, how much is it up this year? right? Earnings per share, uh, shares outstanding, when's the next earnings date, a nice quick sheet of these are all the things that I need to know about this stock in order to see whether this is something I can trade, whether this is something I can trade now. We also have a profile tab where you can read about the company. We all know what Apple does, but we have this obviously for every company. So if you bring up a company because it came through a scan or because you like the chart, you want to know more about what the company does. This profile tab is amazing. And then we also have news right here. So this is actually scanning and just giving you all the, the brand new news when it comes comes to Apple. So if we click on one of these, it will actually redirect us to the web page. This is from Mac rumors saying, Hey, what, what, what are we going to see from Apple's earnings next week? So all that is available right here. And then obviously on the right, we have a chart. It's defaults to a five minute chart right here for an intraday chart for the big one. And then we have our patented picture picture charts here where we have a daily chart to give you the longer term trend. In case you're trying to make an intraday trade, you can also see what's happening with the daily chart. These can be changed just by clicking on these buttons, right? So if I want a weekly chart up here and a daily chart, and I can swap between the little time frame and the big one. So you see this time frame and the small chart I have as a daily chart, this big one, I have a weekly chart. If I click this button in the top right, then it switches though. So now I have a daily chart up here and a weekly chart. It's a way to keep two time frames uh, just right back to back, which is fantastic. Now below we have a stock race. So what a stock race is, is basically showing us in real time what's moving relative to all the other names. So for example, this LNVGY is moving. This is Lenovo. Everything you're going to see on this particular page when it comes to this race is going to be a competitor to Apple. You can see you have HPQ here, which is Hewlett Packard. We have uh, Pan W, which is another it's a semiconductor slash tech name. And I can just click through these and it updates all of this information. So I, you know, I now know that um, Lenovo is domiciled in Hong Kong. It's currently traded on the pink sheets right here. It gets to be the chart. And again, all of the information updates live. So now these, this is how everything looks by default for this particular screen. And there's many more screens we'll get to in a second. But what I want to take you to right away is our sidebar. This is how we navigate through the page. We go down to preferences and we can hit our settings. Now, this is where all of your options are contained. This is a, a large leap over the downloaded version of trade ideas because everything you need to know is 
just locate it right here. So first of all, the, here is your different color options, right? If you're a dark mode person, which I usually am, but I'll stay light mode for the purpose of this video, you can actually hit default. And what this will do is if your computer switches from dark mode to light mode at certain times, which mine does at night, after the market closes, it goes to dark mode because it's easier on the eyes when I'm doing that late night scanning. This will actually update the website to go into that dark mode as well. Next option is your sidebar behavior. Compact makes it really, really small. And this is how I usually use it. And when you hover over these, you have the different settings. It, for people with smaller screens, or if you just want to save a little bit of screen real estate, it pushes this one uh, behind. You can have fixed and you can have sticky, which it will kind of move in and of itself. Now, the next one is what is that data window? Do you want to see the data window in tabs the way I showed it or all separate? So let's make this separate and let's go back to Apple and see what happens here. So as this loads up, now that we made it separate, as opposed to seeing one window here with the profile and the news in the tab, you can see it's all laid out here for me. So I have my data information, I have my stock chart, I have what the company does, and I have some news that's coming in as well. And if I scroll down, my race is just right down there. So it just separates out this information for people who would prefer that. Now we have our data mode. So if you have a free account with us, you'll be on delayed data, it's 15 minutes delayed. Uh, if you have a live account, you can simply flip this. And now if I go back to Apple, it will show uh, live and updated data. So you can see we're a little further along. We're actually right on time with where I am currently when I'm recording this. Back into settings, the beauty of this is we're almost done all of the settings. So next here is your notifications. So these are browser notifications. So if you have Slack on your browser or Gmail and it pops up with that little window in the bottom right, if you're a Windows user or in the top right, if you're a Mac user, you can turn these on so that if you're on a page with races, it will alert you for the race winner. And if you're using one of our alert pages, which I'll show you in a second, it will pop up with new alerts as they come in so you can Go back to whatever you're doing and be alerted when things happen. Next, the chart settings right here where we have day trading, swing trading, and investing. These are the default time zones. So it's based on what kind of trader you are. If you pick day trading, it's a five minute intraday chart and then the daily pitcher and pitcher chart. If you are a swing trader, it is a daily uh, large chart and then a weekly pitcher and pitcher chart and investing is a weekly and then a monthly. So just depending on what time frame you are, I personally, I'm a swing trader. I want to see the daily chart and the weekly chart. So I click that. And then if we just go back to Apple, we'll see that it loads up right away with a daily chart up here and then a weekly chart up here. So now as I go through the software, all of my settings are now saved. So let me walk you around some of the scans and things that we have going on. We are going to start with the market scope 360. This is one of my favorites and is one that I leave open pretty much all day while I'm working on other things because I want to keep on an eye on what's going on. A couple things. First of all, this top bar is basically telling us what's moving right now and what's moving today. So it's just uh, tickers for new highs on really big gainers and new lows on really big losers. So XXII, you can see what a big move that had today. Switch to a 15 minute chart. You can see how this is moving. Tupperware. Tupperware is just going insane today. Again, all of these things are being alerted to me live in real time all day long. I can switch between the different time frames to see if this is something that I'm interested in. Next here is this uh, tree map. Some people call it a heat map. And essentially what it's doing is the larger the squares and the more dark green the squares, the bigger the movement is for that particular security. So this URGN, you can see this massive move that thing is, this thing has taken today. Uh, you can see if you pay attention, these things kind of shift around based off what's going on in the market. If I go to change from open, so sorry, this bar up here, I can go down to change from open. And this shows me not from the close, but from the open what's moving. I can do the last hour and I can do the last 30 minutes as well. This is so E O S E is the last 30 minutes had this nice little run up. So end of the day, maybe it's putting in a little bottoming tail. Maybe that bottoming tail is going to lead to a little bit of a bounce. I can move these around as time fits. And of course we are going to put in more and more of these as time goes on. Now, down below here, we have some other data sets. We have the races that I showed you before, except this is telling me things that are moving today in real time, as opposed to competitors to Apple, where we saw before, this is scanning the entire market and saying, hey, what's moving up from its opening price from that uh, opening print across the entire market, making sure, you know, the volume requirements and things like that. 
So here in the bottom corner, we have advancers and decliner distribution. So it's all well and good to take a look at the SPY and say, this thing is going up, this thing is going down. Uh, but sometimes you want to take a look under the hood and you say, okay, how beaten up are stocks getting uh, individually based off individual names? And something we do at Trade Ideas is we scan the whole nine yards. So this is showing every stock in the market what's going on with them. And you can see on this day that I'm recording this, we're having a pretty red day because most of the market is actually moving lower. And the size of these bars are showing that these are moving uh, significantly lower. Now we can go stock info is where I showed before that essentially just has that info on individual stocks. This is good to research names maybe that you found in the other one and you want to know a little bit more about the profile or the news or, or look at their competitors or something like that. This stock race is basically going to show me a highlighted version of that race that's within the market dashboard, the market scope 360 that I showed you. I can click through it and I can just have names kind of populate and again, do my research down below here to see uh, what's going on. If that race from that main dashboard was very interesting to you, this would be the channel for you. Next is just a race central. So this is going to show me two races. I can have two races going at any given time. I can control which ones these are. At default, it's the biggest gainers and biggest losers. But say, for example, I want it to do gap up and gap down. So I can drag this icon from gap up and I can just drop it right here. And this change now to gap up stocks. And then I can drag this over here and it's gap down stocks. You know, maybe for example, I wanted to do bearish and then I wanted to do bullish action. I can do that as well. Uh, if I wanted to see instead of uh, bearish, maybe I'm not a shorter, I can just pop over here. And this is increasing relative volume. So you can see it's just a simple drag and a drop to change these scans to whatever it is that I want to see. This next dashboard down on the list right here is top lists. And top lists are a nice static list to show you what's happening in kind of real time. But if I want to see everything as once in a nice little list. So for example, this one starts off just shows me the biggest gainers, but as opposed to them moving and showing me what's happening at real time, right now, I just want to look at the, big, the biggest gainers and I just want to click through them. I can go through and I can just click through these and then figure out which of these I, I may be interested in. If, if I'm interested in any, scroll down, right? Look for more. Uh, again, with the drag and drop, I can do the same thing. Let's say I just want high relative volume gainers. I can just click through and I can see these high relative volume action, right? So these stocks are being, going to be doing way more volume than they normally are. And if you look, for example, CLS, the volume bar today versus the other volume bars that happened recently, if I click through EYE, the volume bar today versus the other volume that's happened recently. So it does a very good job of saying, hey, these stocks are doing really, really crazy volume. It's a good list to definitely keep an eye on. And of course, I can drag through, right? These are our FANG names. So these are people who, for people who want to look at the big, well-known names, uh, there's a lot of them here. We have S&P 500 names, so this is the largest gainers, but it takes out, you know, the penny stocks and the low float stocks for people who don't want those. And we have the largest S&P 500 names. We have post-market action. It's the market's still open, so this will be blank, but this is just going to tell me what's moving in the, in the after hours, if there's anything going on. So into the market dashboard called alerts, this is essentially just going to show alerts of what's happening in the moment. So right now we have new daily highs, new daily lows. We're obviously going to be expanding these out into much more scans based off uh, what our feedback is from you guys and also internally in the company. So you can see these things are popping through. So SGML just made a new daily low and you can see that happening right here. We have some filters in here to make sure that it's not doing like really, really low volume stuff. You can see most of these are doing a couple hundred thousand shares a day. Um, and you can see everything that's happening here. So new lows on NCV, you can see the new low that's just occurring right here. So all of this is kind of happening in real time. Also, it's happening a little off screen, but that alert, that window alert is coming through uh, from that alert tab that I turned on. So you can either turn that on or off in the preferences. Finally, we have our user guide. So if you want to learn more about this, you can click on our user guide and you can learn more about uh, trade ideas, all of the different things that we have access to in both the web version and the downloaded product, and then also our education. So if you're interested in trader education, you can take a look at that. We have uh, daily support webinars, uh, everything to help you guys get going on your trading journey. And then the last thing I want to talk about is just this little bubble right here. So right now this is nothing in it, but this is a way that we can actually alert you guys directly with things that are happening with our software, things that are happening in the market, new additions, all of that type of thing.
So thank you for coming and watching the presentation on how to use the new Trade Ideas web version. If you have any feedback for us, if there's anything that you would like to see added, if there's anything that you come across that may not be working the way you think it is, just email in info at trade-ideas.com and we will take a look at that and get back to you.